Hey guys, it's Ray. So this one is a bit longer because there are a few things that I want to share. First, I have this five drawer dresser that I want to change a bit. So it's dark and I love it because the wall is white and I love the contrast. So I'm not going to be doing anything for it outside. I'm just going to be changing the inside of the drawers. So first I'm going to be removing the drawers. I'm just going to be showing you one drawer because it's going to be the same for all of them. This is just my workout clothing. Removing everything that I have there. And in here I used to have wood contact paper. I was into that look before but I'm going to be taking some tape and I'm going to tape the edges now this is pretty much personal preference I chose to not cover the edges because this dresser I purchased from a family that makes this kinds of things so it's like 100% handmade and so I wanted to keep that handmade aspect to it so I didn't want it to be like perfect perfect you know what I mean I wanted some like good color still be around it but to paint this I'm going to be using this white spray paint this is a painter's stash 2x ultra cover paint paint and primer that's a handful I got it off of Amazon to paint this I'm gonna be working outside so I covered my floor with like I opened a trash bag like a big one and I also added four stones on each like edge just because it was windy but also I do this all the time even if it's not windy outside just to keep my trash bag in place but yes yeah, for the paint I love the coverage I love how easy it is to work with if you have never used this brand or this color is like the semi glossy one I really recommend recommend it. I gave this two coats so I just added the first coat then I waited a couple of days actually to just seal and not be as sticky anymore and then I went with the second and last coat. So it was pretty easy to paint and just to work with and I love the fact that there wasn't any like residue or paint didn't leak from the can because I've used other brands that do. One thing that I will say though is that it took me about a week and a half or maybe two weeks because they smelled like paint and just to get rid of like the smell of paint because it was like really strong the first week and so one week wasn't enough after one week i could still smell the paint if you have a tip on how to get rid of the paint smell on wood leave it in the comment below but i don't really mind the smell because i know eventually it will go away it always does it's just kind of annoying when you have like your clothes all over the place because you cannot place them back in yet but I just covered the edges if you notice because I'm going to be adding some contact paper again but white but first I'm going to be cleaning this for contact paper I find that it sticks better when your surface is clean as clean as possible and using this contact paper I have a review for this one it's on my channel if you want to check it out but first I'm going to be measuring this first the width and just cutting the excess and I just rolled it and placed my scissors in there because I find it easier to work with contact papers if they are flat and also you can see how glam I am while doing this in full glam wearing my uh, socks and slippers I just left this part in because I thought it was hilarious but yeah then I'm just measuring the uh, height and just cutting the excess as I did before then I'm going to be placing this in as I want it to be peeling the contact paper like this and I'm using my uh, glue for my four edges and it's kind of tricky to do it this way not gonna lie because you have like the uh, four edges or walls and just kind of in the way but it's not impossible you just have to go like step by step and i do have a tips and tricks diy kind of thing showing you how to do this without getting any air bubbles so i'm not gonna get into that in here check that out if you're interested but this is what it looks like after i, I think it looks much better and brighter and newer even then i'm gonna be taking some fabric softener um sheets and i'm just gonna be cutting them in half and then just taping them on like each corner i do have another tips and tricks on showing you like tips around the house i use them all around not only for my dryer so we went from this to this and yeah i actually really like it it looks much brighter obviously it looks like also brand new and now we go from this to this fun fact about me i don't actually fold my like clothes and i have a uh, diy showing you how to organize clothes in small spaces another fun fact about me i wear men's clothes or just like unisex clothes to work out i don't know what it is but i just don't i just prefer to just do some pants and bag your top and speaking of tops i just got this one i love it this one goes in as well but yeah this is what my drawer looks like i think it looks so much better brighter and i can find things way easier 
without compromising the darker color of my dresser from the outside and actually for my closet I do the same thing with my fabric softener sheets I just tape them like actually in the wall but I just place them higher so my closet smells nice without my clothing or hangers actually touching the sheets if that makes sense but yeah those are the things that I wanted to share with you I was gonna do them anyways and so I thought I'd share this got way longer than I thought it would but hopefully you do find any of this helpful and handy as they are handy for me if you did though don't forget to give this video a thumbs up helps a lot share it and subscribe thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye